Welcome, curious minds and daring makers. You have climbed your way all the way to the top of Genially Wonderfest to my tower, the Wicked Wizard's Workshop. Welcome! In this place, sparks fly, scrolls glow, and ideas refuse to sit still. It is where ordinary projects become extraordinary with just a wave of creativity. You know, they call me the Wicked Wizard, but don't worry, the only thing that I enchant is your workload. <laughs> By the time you leave, you will know how to conjure interactive widgets faster than ever using Genially's newest spellbook, the AI Widget Generator. That's right, you will soon be able to generate your very own widgets in Genially. Now, grab your wands, or your mice, <laughs> and let us begin our first spell. Until now, every widget in Genially came from our team, right? Uh, carousels, timers, randomizers, all built by hand. But now, you can describe exactly what you want, and the AI widget generator will build it for you. No coding required. It saves time, um, it helps you gamify your lessons and your presentations, and it expands your creativity like never before. Type a sparkle emoji in the chat if you've ever wanted to create a widget in Genially. I bet you have. <laughs> I have. I would also suggest you get that mind blown emoji ready because you're definitely going to need it shortly. Now, before we begin casting spells, there is something important to know. Right now, the AI widget generator is in pre-beta. That means it is not yet available in everyone's editor. But those of you who have joined us today will be gifted your very own magic wand very soon. Everyone attending this session will receive an invitation to join the first wave of beta testers as soon as this program begins. You will be among the first to explore it, test it, and shape how this magic grows. So, what I'm showing you today is a glimpse of what is coming very soon. Think of it as a sneak peek behind the curtain into the future. <laughs> now, let me show you where this new magic lives. Inside your Genially editor, open any project to start a new one. Look over on the left sidebar and choose Widgets. At the top of the widget menu, you'll see a button that says Generate Widget with AI. When you click it, a chat style window opens. This is your spell book. You simply describe the widget you want. The more specific your description, the better your result. For example, you can type something like Create a customizable progress bar. After you press generate, you'll see the magic happen and your widget will appear. You can preview it and by simply typing your requests, you can tweak the design. On the sidebar, you can customize the widget before publishing it. Once you publish, the widget appears on your page and you can start using it immediately. After publishing, go to the edit menu to choose the options pertaining to your widget. In this case, you can see we're able to change the progress percentage, uh, the colors, bar height, border radius, and the font of the percentage text. Go into preview mode to see how it will look to your learners. That is the essence of spellcraft in this workshop. Describe it, refine it, and let the generator handle the code. All right, now that you know the basics of your spellbook, it's time to learn your first real spell. This spell is called the Word Search of Wonder. Let's make a new page and open the widget generator. For the prompt, we'll type create a word search with 10 hidden words about teamwork and collaboration. Add a timer and a celebration when all words are found. Provide hints to help find words if necessary. Playful tone with bright blues and golds. Something like this word search would be perfect for reviewing vocabulary or breaking the ice at the beginning of a class or a team meeting. Here, you can see the magic happening. Over 650 lines of code generated from our one small prompt. When the widget is ready, you can publish, and with a single click, the widget appears in your Genially design. 
You can resize and reposition the widget however you like and go into the edit menu to change settings. These settings will vary from widget to widget, uh, but in this case, we can change the words, the size of the word search grid, the timer duration, whether or not hints are enabled, some basic color and font settings, and the ability to add an interactivity upon completion, such as opening a window or revealing a button to go to the next page. Now, we'll go into preview mode and try it out. We click and drag when we find words, and there you go, a perfectly functioning digital word search. If we get stuck, we can click the hint button and it helps us out. Once we find all the words, we get our congratulations message with the amount of time it took and the option to play again, in which case it reshuffles the words to make a brand new game, so it's fresh. Very cool, right? Now this is just one spell in a literally endless spell book. <laughs> now, what about you? What would be the first widget you would create with this incredible magic? Go ahead and throw it in the chat to inspire others. <laughs> and, and hey, if you're not sure what you would make just yet, don't worry, it's okay. You'll be able to reuse AI-generated widgets created by the Genie League community. Now, speaking of inspiration, does anyone want to see more examples? I bet you do. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Let's take a tour of some of the, mo the most amazing widgets that our team has created so far. First, secret code locks. This spell is a great addition to the existing ability to add a passcode to a page in Genially. But when you want a bit more customization, you can do that now. This one, for instance, incorporates on-screen numerical buttons and a full screen effect when you get the code right or wrong. This one gives you a text box to enter the code, allowing you to enter a code that's much longer than what the current Genially password protected pages allow. This one has the on-screen numerical buttons and full screen effects, but it also locks you out if you get the code wrong three times. Here's one that acts as a gatekeeper, automatically sending you to the next page once you enter the correct code. And you can change it up completely and make something like this, a cryptex, right? Da Vinci code style with spinning dials that lets users enter a five letter password. Each one of these allows the option to trigger some kind of interactivity once the correct code is entered. Full screen effects, go to page interactions, sounds, interactive windows, hide and reveal animations, all of that. Now, how about a math practice problem generator? Here's one that generates random problems with two digit numbers. Here's one with three digit numbers and a set number of problems before it gives you results and asks if you want to start over. Here's a multiple choice fraction problem bell ringer. And here's one that provides 10 random problems for learners to practice their multiplication tables up to 12. All created by the Genially community with a quick prompt in the widget generator. Need a customizable content carousel? There's a spell for that. <laughs> this is a great option for displaying a collection of customer testimonials or quotes from famous authors or really anything you want. By the way, you can even insert widgets like this one into existing flip cards in Genially. Along with progress bar widgets, you can also conjure drop-down menu widgets or post-it note widgets. And with everything being customizable, it's easy to make the color and the style match your branding or your desired color scheme. Create an individual or collaborative to-do list with draggable tasks and customizable priority levels and categories. Sometimes you just need a random joke to brighten your day. Good thing you can create a joke generator widget to help out with that. Do you use QR codes? Well, how about a customizable QR code generator without ever having to leave your Genially design? That dream becomes a reality with this spell. Here's one that is particularly useful for us here at Genially, a multilingual content widget. 
If you have multilingual learners or work for a global company like us, this one can be a lifesaver. As a matter of fact, you all have seen this widget at work already just as you entered Genially Wonderfest Park and chose your language. Does anyone remember the Simon memory game? You can cast a spell to create a version of that and many other simple games. Create a pinata widget with a secret prize inside, a colorful, customizable roulette wheel, and even your own bingo game with a simple prompt. How about a scorekeeper widget that provides running commentary and leader tracking? Great for team or individual competitions or individual progress tracking. Or maybe you want to dive into the mystical realm of fortune telling with a magic eight ball widget or a crystal ball widget, both with customizable responses and corresponding interactivities. Here's a guess the word widget that keeps track of the letters you've guessed and the number of errors and gives you a game over message if you make too many. Create a scratch and reveal or scratch off style widget to reveal a hidden word, phrase, number, image, any content you want. Need your learners to be able to create a set of flashcards to help them study? Well, this super quick flashcard creation widget does the job nicely and is super easy for learners to customize with their own notes or content. How about some helpful scaffolding and differentiation widgets? You can create a vault widget like this one with a collection of concepts, definitions, examples, in this case, math formulas. Each dropdown reveals a worked example of the formula being used. Uh, you can also put YouTube videos in these dropdowns. Random example generators for any topic you want. Just choose a topic, enter your examples, or use the ones provided by default, and allow your learners to generate on-demand examples anytime they need them. I absolutely love this one. You, you can see here that I created one for photosynthesis, one for the Pythagorean theorem, and one for metaphors, but you, you can create it for anything you want. It's amazing. A hint widget, ingeniously designed as a computer terminal. <laughs> Provide the question, in this case I provided a riddle, load the widget with three hints and the answer, and you're ready to go. Learners interact with the widget very much like a command prompt terminal, and they get hints until they get it right. This one has the added bonus of being able to provide a secret code or a password once the correct answer has been guessed. Perfect for accessing that next password protected Genially page. Maybe some guided reflection is up your alley. Then try these spells. A self-assessment widget with interactive sliders and customizable skill statements. When a learner clicks the view my results button, they see a radar, a radar chart with a graphical representation of their responses. An exit ticket reflection with drop down text boxes so learners can focus on one prompt at a time. They can go back and revisit or revise their responses whenever they want. And at the end of all of that amazing learning, what if you want your learners to be able to generate a certificate as proof of their learning or a celebration of their accomplishments? Well, there's a spell for that too. <laughs> Create a certificate generator widget that is pre-populated with everything except the learner's name. They enter their name and boom, they get their certificate. This one even generates a unique certificate ID number every time a certificate is generated. And of course, as is the case with so many of these widgets, you can allow as much or as little customization as you want. Here's a fully customizable version of the certificate generator with several input fields for the learner to complete and even a choice of templates so they can choose their own design. Wow, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I told you to keep those mind blown emojis handy. I wasn't playing around. Hey, out of all the widgets that I've shown you, which one blows your mind the most? Go ahead and put it in the chat. Let everybody know. I'm interested to see it too. We are so excited to release this incredible new feature to the Genially community in the near future. Remember, everyone in this live session is invited to be a beta tester when the time comes, with the amazing privilege of being one of the first to experience the magic of AI-generated widgets. Consider it your acceptance letter to wizard school. <laughs> if you'd like to accept that invitation, all you have to do is go to the link in the chat and enter your info. It's that easy. And if you're watching the recording of this session after the fact, you can sign up too. Just be sure to act fast because spots are limited for the beta test. If this session sparked ideas for you, share them on your socials with the hashtag GeniallyWonderFest and tag your fellow creators to tell them the big news. Big news indeed, right? Yeah, <laughs> keep an eye on your inbox for your beta invitation and for more Wonderfest surprises. 
And remember, the true magic is not in the wand or in the spell book, it's in you. We at Genially are honored to be able to provide you with the tools to share that magic with the rest of the world. Until next time, I'm the Wicked Wizard of Wonderfest, and my favorite kind of wicked is wickedly efficient. So long.